do it. Sir! Ready? Uh, uh, uh. And fire! Arrest them! Take them all! Yeah! Yeah! Ah. We could have got these rebels easy enough, Lieutenant. You didn't have to use the cannons! Hmm. Yeah, as long as we have those cannons, this army is invincible! These criminals have tried to destroy this town. They've tried to corrupt it with their evil thoughts. Their crimes are unforgivable. They will be executed tomorrow morning. Diego, they can't! They can! Now they've got those cannons. Maybe Zaro and Little Zaro could try and take care of those cannons! I doubt if even they could help this time. Huh? The fort where the cannons are is so heavily guarded that it would be impossible. I don't think even Zaro could get in there. <gasps> this is an order from Commander Raymond! One, five gold coins for any information about Zaro. Two, five gold coins for information on the rebels' hideout. Three, anyone knowingly withholding information about Zoro or the rebels will have their property confiscated and will be executed! <laughs> Why do I always get the filthy jobs in this army? It seems money does make the world go round after all. Look at all the letters of information we've received. They came in after the notice about the reward. It'll surely be the end for the rebels now. Hmm. Now, which of these are accurate? It doesn't matter. Huh? We have plenty of shells for the cannons, and it seems a shame to waste them, so we'll destroy them all. You really are ruthless. <laughs> but then so am I. All this information has cost us a lot of money. It will be a shame to waste it. <laughs> Excuse me. It's about those rebels we have arrested, sir. Yes, and? Yes, well, sir. I think that we should bring them to trial. Don't be fooled, Jekyll. Giving them publicity will only help to create even more rebels. They will be executed tomorrow morning as planned. But, uh... This is a list of other rebel hideouts. You'll carry on with the bombardment of these places. That is an order. Hmm. Is this information accurate? If we make a mistake, these shells could be landing on innocent people, sir. Yes, some innocent people may well be hurt. What? The people of this town, they must be taught not to harbor rebels against our will. But, Commander! That is an order. Sir. Yes, sir. The world is turning rotten! <laughs> ah, I don't like the way the army's going. It's just not right, Diego. <laughs> don't you think it's a bit strange, Diego? Hmm? Hmm? Who, me? I don't understand army business, Sergeant. Why don't we just have a drink and forget it? Go ahead, Sarge. Ah! I wish that I could be so happy-go-lucky! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, these poor young men that we captured, there is nothing that can be done for them. They will be executed tomorrow morning. <sighs> ah. This is off the record, Diego, and strictly between us. But I wish that Zoro would turn up and destroy those cannons of ours. Hey, come on. You shouldn't say that, Sarge. What if Zoro really did show up and destroy your cannons? No, no, it's impossible. Even for Zoro, they are too well guarded. However well guarded it is, Zoro could get in there. Yeah, of course he could. So don't worry, Sergeant. Just drink your beer. Go ahead, huh? Ah, it's impossible. Listen, it's not just an ordinary guard they have. Now listen. The fort itself is surrounded by tall walls. To get inside, you have to go through the front gates, where the gun corps commanded by Lieutenant Gabriel are constantly on guard. Even if Zoro got through the gate. Huh? They keep many ferocious dogs there. Dogs that are trained to attack strangers on sight. <laughs> And even if he could run away from the dogs, even if he managed that, there are traps all the way to the top of the hill. Traps? Yes. He would almost certainly die by falling on the spears hidden in numerous pits. There is no way through. It's too hard. That fort is impregnable. You may as well give up on it. It's no good. Don't say that! So what's gonna happen to Rico and his friends? Are you gonna let them die? Diego! Diego! You're a coward! What, an offer of marriage to Lolita? Well, yes. <laughs> I, I thought it only right to come and tell her ex-fiance about it. <laughs> really, it can be so troublesome having such a pretty daughter. <laughs> Please, Father. You mean a pretty daughter and a beautiful wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. <sighs> There is this young man who wishes to marry Lolita. He fell in love with her at a party. It was love at first sight. He kept sending her gifts through his parents. Oh. We're going to visit them tomorrow. Yes, Lolita hasn't given him a decisive answer yet. Bernard. I knew it! You are gonna help them, aren't you, Diego? Yes, you are! And I'll come and help you, and we'll beat the guard and destroy those cannons! No, Bernard. You lied to me, Diego, so that you wouldn't have to take me, because we may not survive. Mm-hmm. You must let me come! I won't hold you back, I won't! No, Bernard. Now listen, you have a lot of courage. If something should happen to me, Look after father and Maria. What? Hey, Diego, what are you doing? Hey! Ah! Diego.
go. Lolita. Well, here we are. Not even Zaro could break through this defense. What's that? What? That's Zaro! Shoot him! Fire! Open fire! Got him! We got him! Yay! Yes, we've killed yes, Zaro! We got Zaro! He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's what? It's oh, a dummy! Yeah. Huh? No, oh, no! How can we tell which of these is the real Zaro? Well, what are you waiting for, you idiot? Shoot! Now! Shoot them all! Stay here! Zaro might try to come through this gate! This one's another dummy! Damn him! Where is he? Well, did you find him? No, sir, they're all dummies. It's absolutely impossible. There's no one here who could get into that fort. Poor old Zorro, he must be full of holes by now. I can just see him rushing in to save those rebels, then charging on to take the fort. Cannons. Huh? Zorro is aiming for my cannons. <laughs> Zaro, stay alive! Zaro mustn't die! Everything okay? Sarge! Hey, Sarge, we heard the noise outside. What's going on? Zaro has shown up. Good work, just keep it up. Uh. Ah! Zaro! <laughs> One move, I'll slit his throat. Drop your guns. Do it! Now, open the door. Huh? Open the door right now! We thank you, Zaro. Now get out of here quickly. And you? I've got something else in mind. I won't let him destroy my cannons. I won't. You're too light to fall into the traps that have been set for me. So go ahead. Oh. Ha! 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 My 
guess Gonzalez forgot to mention these trip wires. How did you escape? It's impossible. Zaro got us out. Zaro? Now drop your weapons. The tide has turned against you, Gabriel. Scum? What are we gonna do? We'll kill them! Don't kill them! Huh? Zaro did not help you escape so that you could kill them! They're only obeying Commander Raymond's orders. Let them live! Little Zaro? Zoro, my congratulations on getting here. I thought that you would never come. Say goodbye, Zoro. Oh. will bring reinforcements. I've got to hurry. <laughs> no! Too late! That was close. Phew. It's daybreak already. I must hurry. Huh? What's that? What? The cannons. Ah! That noise! Just my luck. And I spent such a lot of money on those damn cannons. Ah. Maybe, maybe this is good. Little Zaro. I had to come, you know? <laughs> Bad boy. Zaro.
are you going to sleep? It's already afternoon. Come on, wake up. Can I just sleep a little longer? <sighs> Aren't you meeting your suitor? I've decided I don't want to get married yet. And so I've already declined. Huh? Really? The guy will probably be hurt. Yeah, you two youngs get married. That's right, Lolita. Yeah. Hmm. Now, wake up, both of you. Oh! Ow! Ow! Uh, oh. Ow! No. Ow. In the next exciting episode of Zorro, a stranger comes to town. Is he interested in the reward on our two friends? And what does capital have to do with it? A more formidable enemy than Zorro has ever faced. Could it be he has taken on too much? Is this the end? Or has the stranger someone else in mind? All will be revealed when Lolita discovers the truth and joins the fight in... Zorro! Zorro!